What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we've got our World Player of the Year 2024 Showtime cards. So, yesterday, if you watched my video, I did kind of tell you guys that these cards were going to come, and I'm actually surprised that they've brought out these cards, and that they're so powerful, man. Rodri is going to be absolutely insane. I do feel like I'm saying every week that there's a new meta card, but Rodri is the real deal, man, especially when he's, like, disrated, and we're going to show you, obviously, with the double booster as well, We'll show you a little, little little later on, but he will be very, very nice. Vinny as well, he's got the boost, as you see here. He's very, very decent as well. There's been a couple of very nice Vinny cards, but I definitely think that this one will, will be up there, right? Obviously with his old Showtime, uh, which I always think they kind of do a good job on the Showtime cards because obviously the player ratings are so high that there is no weakness really with the stats. Now, Bellingham came third in the ranking. I definitely think that a lot of people will like Bellingham as well. If you remember his older cards, he was an absolute demon, like a beast. Funny that they show him scoring a header there. Obviously, he's kind of like a tall center, center midfield, attacking midfield uh, type of player. So, yeah, it is going to be interesting. And I do like the quick turnaround as well that Rodri, Vinny, and, of course, Bellingham are in the game. Like, it's, it just shows you, man, that they can be locked in with the content when they really want to. Now, we also have the club championship event kicking off as well. This is the official eFootball tournament, and it's to determine the best eFootball user amongst all Arsenal FC fans from across the world. So, yeah, this is the new event, man. This is the brand new championship that they're going to be having. Uh, I will be doing a video on the eSports very, very soon, right? I've reached out to a couple of people. We've got a couple of things going on. You can enter this. Round one, you literally just need to enter this. Agree to the, uh, the terms and conditions here. And once you're in this, uh, you will be getting your main deal at 5,000 points. Now, all you have to do is basically play the game. It's against Legend AI, uh, or you can change it to any difficulty. You can play as many games as you want. You don't even need to play the game yourself, lads. You can sim it. Uh, and once you get to 1,000 points, you will get your chance deal at 500, and you will get your main reward at uh, 1,000. So those are the breakdown there. After you get to 1,000, you'll have your five Arsenal FC standard cards, and then, obviously, that's going to be uh, joined with the Spanish Club's Tour event where you get your Worldwide Player of the Week. We'll have a look at the Player of the Week in a second. And, of course, we do have Co-op back as well versus the AI. And then we do have our English Clubs and London Clubs ongoing. In terms of the PvP, we do have the London uh, Halloween campaign. That is still there. We've got the Spanish Clubs and we have the English Clubs still going as well. So they've just kind of recycled these. We know, listen, we know by now what we're going to be getting every Thursday. Unless they do a big change to the actual core gameplay... We're not really going to have anything different there. eFootball League is going to be tied to the match pass as well with the phase. Obviously, this is my free-to-play account, uh, or my third free-to-play account. I actually haven't even cleared any of the match pass, but I would always advise to hit, uh, finish at least 15 matches, even if it's just against the AI, right? Because we will be getting brand new nominating contracts next week, which I'm going to show you here. Um, also in the shop as well, with the eFootball points here, this Vinny card that was here, right, so there's no strips, but this Vinny card here, sorry, I'm gotten wrong, this Vinny card here, I definitely think the new one is going to be way more, you know, like, way better and way more exciting to use, but that Vinny is still pretty decent, to be fair, right, it's not a bad card at all, okay, we also have on top of this as well, they do talk about this player, uh, American goalkeeper Holden Trent, to respectfully honour the player's legacy, we'll take the action, so they're just going to be removing him from the game, obviously as a sign of respect, and we do have the login bonus of Jesus that we had as well, um, obviously, uh, so listen, I do feel uh, at this stage, man, there, is, there isn't really like much going on with the game, I do feel like with the match pass and with the next phase, I think that's going to probably usher in a brand new, um, you know, we've got our logins and all that, it's going to usher in a brand new kind of how would I say it? Like, they need to kind of refresh the gameplay, I think, and the gameplay loop is what I'm talking about, right? Because it is just cards at the moment. Now, the cards can be fun. We've got a double pack here. Uh, we did say that we were going to be getting Lewandowski. We've got Hakimi. Uh, we've got a couple of other players in here. In the domestic player of the week, you've got Pedro Neto. Uh, you've got Dumfries. You've got a couple of other players in here as well that are pretty decent. But I do think that the European club... Uh, the European Club Championship Player of the Week is slightly better. You've got Minamino, you've got Rafinha, you've also got Nunes, and of course you have uh, Rodgers again back. This guy, uh, who we said that was going to be coming, you've got uh, Kelleher, who's the Irish keeper. I wouldn't mind getting him, to be honest with you, but no, my luck, I'll probably spin and I won't get him. Uh, but yeah, I think that they're kind of, as you've, as you've noticed here, they're kind of reducing the power and the overall of these. So 
that's probably deliberate to make way for these kind of like super super uh, players here so this is in part of a pack here you got Vinny, Rodri and Jude Bellingham but you also have Ruben Diaz, Valverde I think this Valverde is going to be an absolute monster lads you do have as well as that Martinez you've got Xhaka you've got Danny Carvajal um there's there's a lot of nice players in here man Harry Kane is there as well obviously there's a lot of nice players like this is world player of the year Harry Kane as well but it is going to be all about Rodri lads I think Rodri is definitely going to be a very interesting card yes he's orchestrator which is yeah it's a bit of a strange one but he does have blocker interception fortress and fighting spirit it's an insane card without any levels there I mean you're talking about like his tight possession his low pass his lofted pass his tackling aggression defensive awareness and engagement and his physical contact and stamina all being you know around a 79 80 mark which is insane with 35 levels to go we will do a video on this Rodri because I think a lot of people are going to use him listen I know I say it every week but there's uh, the players that they're bringing out now man are just so good like this Rodri is going to be unbelievable I just already know he's going to be insane as for Vinny uh vinicius with the booster here he gets the ball carrying he's going to have double touch flip flap and soul control as well as momentum dribbling straight off the rip i know some people really rate Vinny. i haven't played that much with him especially his older showtime card i actually didn't spin for him um but this card is going to be very very nice as well he can play cf left wing left mid i think the problem with this card could just be his physical contact compared to other cards that are really dominating for me and I do think that Jude Bellingham as a box-to-box -box is going to be very, very nice as well. He actually has blocker, but he has phenomenal finishing as well as his booster showtime skill, which is very interesting. Speed, it's not amazing, but you'll still be able to get it into the 80-plus zone with those 35 levels. So all in all, I definitely think these are solid, solid cards. It just depends at this stage in the year, are you going to spin from, you know, when you've already had Vieira, Turam, all those boys that have been brought out. So... That is it for me, boys. I will be back in a little bit. I will be live streaming today on our Halloween stream. Don't forget to check it out. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in a bit. Let me know if you're spinning for these.